Hi guys, welcome back. Well today I've got a quick tip to share with you and it is all about combating that dreaded layer of film that can sometimes accumulate on top of those powdered face makeup products. Now it easily happens, obviously sometimes oil can be transferred from your foundation or from your skin on your blusher brush because obviously your blusher brush touches your skin and then it touches the powder so it's not easy to avoid it happening um, but it can be a problem because obviously the more moisture, the more oil, the more kind of other makeup products that work their way into a powdered product, it's definitely going to potentially affect the powdered product shelf life. It makes it a lot more difficult to work with as sometimes the film layer can be quite hard and it can actually prevent you from kind of getting any of the powder product out underneath. So often if you feel like a product just isn't working for you anymore, you're not getting any colour payoff from it, then it could be that there's a little greasy film of goodness knows what on top of your powder but do not fear there are various ways to combat this and I am going to share with you a way that you can do it today very easily so here I've got a Barry M blusher and as you can see it's just got a little bit of a film on it and I've got a, another Barry M blusher here in exactly the same shade which is brand new and you can see there's no film on that whatsoever there is the old one and what we're going to do now is we're just going to take some tape so any kind of tape you like as long as it's sticky and we are going to pop that over the powder and press it on like so And just really work it on so hopefully it's going to actually stick to the blush and pick up some of that greasy residue that we don't want anymore so we're just really going to work it in there and then we're going to peel it away as you can see there's a lot of stuff on there and underneath it's already looking better so now we can obviously repeat that process once again, taking our tape, pressing it on and working it into the powder so that it picks up lots of that greasy top layer that we don't want on there anymore. And you can use any tape you want for this. I'm just using basic cellar tape as we call it in the UK anyway. <laughs> I think it might be called different things in different parts of the world, but it is just the kind of clear tape that looks like that. There's probably better tapes to use, but this is what I have to hand, so it is what I am using. So again, we'll peel that off, lots of residue on there, and again, it's looking better. There is less shininess on there. Now sometimes a product can go a little bit shiny just because it is compacted down when you kind of press onto it. So let's compare this to the brand new one. There's the brand new one. There's this one. Not looking too bad now. Now you could repeat the process or you could just leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that now um, but one thing that I probably will do is go in with my isopropyl alcohol and just spray one or two squirts of that on because that will also sanitize the product and then I'll just leave it to dry and it should be as good as new. One thing just to mention about the isopropyl alcohol is definitely try and keep it away from any kind of print on the packaging because it does have a tendency to remove print from plastic packaging. So there we go one blush and that is almost as good as new and this is a great way to sanitize products as well even if you can't see a greasy film on it 
why not just take off the top layer every now and then and spray on a bit of isopropyl alcohol as that will definitely help increase the lifespan of your beloved makeup products. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like seeing beauty related videos and I will see you again in another beauty related video soon. Bye for now.